Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see how to draw the isometric projection of an inverted pentagonal pyramid of base side 30 and axis height 60. It's resting on its base on HP. Now see, I have an issue with this sentence. It cannot rest on its base on HP. In, it is inverted, right? So if I'll draw HP VP, inverted, it will be like this. One of the side is parallel to VP and nearer to the observer. So it will be like this. Then they have said it is inverted. So it will be like this. Now, according to the question, if I draw, then it will be this way. It is resting on its base, on HP. So then it will be this way. But this is fourth quadrant. And in CBSC, we have only first quadrant. So according to me, this is the correct one. So we need to erase this. So even, even if they say inverted, that is more than enough. Or if they want to give, uh, what they can give? Resting on it, apex on it. See this, resting on it, base, instead of base, if they write apex on HP, that is also correct. So I feel there is a correction in NCRT textbook. You can check with your teacher. But according to me, it should be apex on HP. And if somebody wants to argue, they can message me on this or they can write in the comment box. Now see, one side is parallel to VP and nearer to the observer. So when observer will see from here, it will be this way. So first we will draw isometric scale. All of you know how to draw 30, 45 and in this we are going to mark till 60, 0 to 50 and 10. So this is 0 to 30 and this is 50 plus 10, 60. So first we will draw a horizontal line, we'll mark distance 30 and we'll draw a pentagon over there. Now all of you know how to draw a pentagon with 54, 54 degree method. So we'll draw a pentagon by 54 degree method. So once we are done with this pentagon, we'll convert this into a box of 1, 2, 3, 4 and we'll write pentagon side as A, B, C, D, E. So first you draw a pentagon, then you draw 30-30 degree. Height is 60, so we can mark height 60. This is 1, 1 to 2. We'll mark 1 to 2 and 1 to 4. And now, we are doing this at the top. Why? Because it is inverted. So, pentagon will come at the top. So, we'll draw 1, 2, 3, 4 box on the upper side. Now, we'll take 2 to B. It is same as 1 to A. So we'll cut from 2 as well as from 1. Then we'll take 2 to C. It is same as 1 to E. 
and we'll mark 3 to D. So we got pentagon. Now what we need to do, we need to join A, B, C, D, E. So we'll get the pentagon, base of the pentagon. Now we need to find the center point, right? It is height is how much? Axis height is 60. So we'll first find out M and N. We'll find out point O and from point O we'll go down by 60. All of you know how to mark M and N. See like this, take this distance, cut from here, draw line and you mark N. See, this is entire series. So I'm drawing all the sums 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you have any doubt, you can refer from sum number 1. So you'll get all the information. Height will take 60. So even though I'm trying my best to explain each and every step, but just in case if you feel that something is something you're not understanding, then I'll advise you to go through all the sums. You will get the answer. Now in this, will join extreme boundary so it will be this way and from point O we'll draw axis so it is this way observable C from here we'll write origin 30 30 degree we'll complete the box so I hope everyone understood how to draw inverted pentagonal pyramid So I hope everyone understood this. Thank you.